All right. Well, I guess I'll start. Uh, I'll start chatting. We got a couple people. Uh, a couple people showing up. We got some a uh, little bit of Undertale music in the background. And tell me, like as always, let me know if the the audio uh, is kind of obnoxiously loud, or if it's uh, if it's unbalanced. I think I got it about right. I I guessed. I did my usual guessing game. And I feel, I feel like I nailed it because I think I'm awesome. So yeah, uh, that's definitely, definitely where, where I consider myself to be. So hello, Noel. Hello, hello, Moat Man. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Uh, whatever, whatever holidays you may or may not observe. Um, thanks for, uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit. Now, this, this, here's a, here's a way that I'll, I'll cover a little bit of time here as, as a couple people sort of roll in and just explain a little bit of what, what I'm doing here or why I'm doing this because it's like, why, why on Christmas Eve? Why, Dan? Why on Christmas Eve would you choose to stream Undertale rather than spend time with with friends and family because I, I certainly do do have that option I could be uh, I could be out though most of my family is out of town I've got some some friends I could stay with but I thought I thought I would do this because it it's important to me from my childhood and let me explain why why I say that what what is important to uh, what about it is important to me from my childhood well growing up my dad was in radio he he was on air sometimes he uh, was so so every but he he worked a lot in in like the managerial side but he was also on air like when I was a really little kid he was on air and also like even in the managerial side sometimes on holidays he would have to fill in and uh, so usually about every two or three years dad would end up working on New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve or New Year's Day or you know, so there would be these times where he wasn't around because he would be at the station doing the on-air stuff for uh, for that time. And so we would, on those years, we would listen to the radio as we were doing our Christmas Eve stuff because then, you know, that there's Dad. There's Dad on the radio. And so it, it became meaningful to me the connection that you could have with people over uh, over a broadcast that you didn't necessarily like that, that that was a way of connecting with people and so even on the years where we didn't where dad was with us we would still often have the radio station that he was working at we would have it playing uh, around the house so that we you know would have a little bit of that connection to to the DJ that that in in some way by listening to them they weren't then alone at the station even though they were like they were physically alone at the station and they didn't have you know a chat room that they could back and forth with but they would try and establish you know rapport with the uh with the listeners and and it struck me that there was a way of having some human connection through the intangibility of of broadcast and so i i thought that now with with new media with changing media here we are on New Year's Eve, and I would follow a little bit in in my dad's footsteps and and broadcast for all those who who are sitting at home who maybe 
don't have anywhere to go, who maybe just are are being themselves and just uh, enjoying themselves, staying in. It's not that they don't have anywhere to go, it's that they are where they want to be. Um, but, you know, giving, uh, it's it's a chance to uh, to connect with people, it's a chance to to keep you company and have you keep me company. And I thought, what better way, what an absolutely better way of celebrating that or, or of engaging with that than a pacifism run in Undertale. I thought that was quite quite thematically wonderful way of doing it. So we we are here to be a friend to monsters and dogs. Uh, and and yeah. So thank you all for uh, thank you all for coming out and I hope uh, I hope you enjoy and we'll we'll keep each other company and it will be good and we will have a happy holidays. So I actually started the game a couple days ago. I actually, I hadn't, I have not played this all the way through before. I just picked it up with the Steam sale earlier this week, and I started it a couple days ago, but then uh, in order to do the broadcast, I needed to switch over to a different partition, which didn't bring my save game with me. So we'll actually be starting all the way over from the beginning. And hello, Suddenly Senpai. Senpai. Uh, welcome, welcome to the stream. And... Here we are. So we'll be starting over from the beginning, and this will be a full uh, pacifism run. I will probably die uh, more than once because I am bad at video games. It turns out I have learned that streaming that I am I am bad at video games, and I should probably give up. But I won't. I won't give up. And you know what? Let's let's go. Who who should we, we are going to be? Santa. We're going to be Santa. That's who we're going to be. We are Santa. because that is only appropriate, all told. Is this name correct? Yes. Yes, we are Santa. So I have played through the first two hours or so, um, but but past that, uh, past that, it's all new to me. So I already know about I already know about this jerk. This is such a... Oh, oh, this tutorial is so good. It's so good. It's, it's heartbreaking. Oh. Even though I just went through it a couple days ago, it's still, it's still just like, I still feel betrayed. I know it's coming, but I still feel betrayed. Oh. Hello, Toriel. I wanted to use a gamepad, actually, but...
I, uh, now one of the things actually going into it, so I've, I haven't actually had most of the game spoiled for me. In fact, what I kind of consider to be the spoilers I had been exposed to, um, it turns out they're not. So the whole element of, uh, of being able to talk to things and the whole idea of a pacifism run, I was, uh... I was initially assuming that, like, oh, okay, well, that's, you know, the importance of it um, was something that I thought was, uh, you know, possibly spoilery, but then you get into it, and it's like, no, it, it basically lays that all out, like, right away. Um... Oh... You know, so so I was afraid of that that maybe I'd had that element spoiled or the, the significance of that spoiled, but I hadn't. You know, Toriel starts off right away just being like, "Okay, here's uh, here's the deal. You might want to do this," and uh, and they really push. Uh, they they do push that, or they they press the the possibility of it and the significance of it more or less right away and lay it all out so I I don't know how much I know anymore that's all been cast into cast into doubt uh, also I realized <laughs> just like yesterday that uh, other things that I thought might be it's like kind of spoilery or actually just back of the box stuff like it's right there in the Steam description which I've actually never read um, so I probably know virtually nothing about this game relative to people who, who have actually been properly paying attention, people who have been, uh, certainly people who have played it know far, far more than me, and I think that gets people excited. And I'm excited too, I, I really like, I like the impact that it's had on me so far, I like the mechanics, I enjoy that the, uh, I did not leave you, I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Tutorial. Um, I really like where they went with the pacifism mechanics and how it's it's not just a one note thing that they have turned like that they have made it a suitable uh, suitable challenge. And that there's actually a lot of really interesting mini uh, mini puzzles in order to in order to progress. My my favorite so far has been uh, it's about an hour in. It's these two dogs with uh, with giant cleavers, giant axes. Two dogs with giant axes, and you have to roll on the ground in order to disguise your scent as a dog, and then you pet them. And their doggy minds, their their minds are blown because they had never before considered that a dog could pet another dog. And it's oh, it was so good. It's it's some great kind of uh, throwback to the um, really sort of like the moon logic of old. Uh, of old, uh, uh, what am I trying to say, um, adventure games, like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and whatnot. You know, it's, it has that kind of s sensibility to it in a lot of, uh, in a lot of great ways. You know, what do you do? You, you compliment the frog, but it doesn't understand, but still... So, uh, cinnamon or butterscotch? Which, which do we prefer, cinnamon or butterscotch? Cinnamon or butterscotch? I went with butter, I'm gonna go with butterscotch. I like butterscotch. I know, yeah. Butterscotch. Oh, I see. 
You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose at me? Right, right. I understand. Thank you. Heart. And oh, I just caught that. I just caught that. All right, all right. You don't. Need that. Sorry. Uh, I just caught that. Okay, so the sign says three out of four. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them, and then the fourth gray rock that you come across, uh... Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can nail this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I've got a great memory. Apparently. Apparently I have a good enough memory. So, one rock, and now we've got three rocks, so that makes four rocks total. Uh, a frog it in a whimsom. Whimsom won't even try, so I can just compliment froggy. Frog it. Ah! No! So, three, and the fourth rock. Three out of four rocks recommend you push them, and the fourth you need to convince. You don't, you don't actually, you convince it to move. Like, that's just, oh, that's, it's very, it's so subtle, and it's just wonderful. The ghost. Sorry, ghost. Spiders. I can't buy anything from the spider bake sale. Unless this looks.
There we go. Now I've got enough. Yay, spider donut. Check looks and then say his full name out. Okay. Uh... Check looks and say his full name out loud. All right. Hello, hello, Toriel. one with the carrot? Yes. This one took me a while to... Ah, missed it. Eat my greens! Alright, where's... Got it. Ah! No! Uh. Oh, you're all talking about... ...about deep spoilers, it seems. Uh. Alright. Greens. I I know last time I was playing, uh wait. Did I not hit the switch? Did I did I forget to hit the switch? Did I go through all that and then forget to hit the switch? I did. This puzzle I thought was great. I'm gonna kind of blow through a bunch of these just cause, you know... I already figured them out, I already did them a couple days ago. And I don't think, I don't think you'll all mind too much. It is apparently a fairly long game, so... Um... Oh. I was looking at the wrong thing. Alright, which one? Red switch. It's only like five to seven hours. Okay, I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was a little bit longer, like closer to fourteen. But that might have been people um, who like really. Really dug into it. Press the green switch. Vegetoids. Like I said, I'm not always the best. The bullet hell, the bullet hell aspect is actually, I'm not very good at it. Uh, nope. Dang it. And, yeah, red is closest to the, yeah, red is closest. That's okay. That's alright. Oh wait, did it say red? It said red, right? Press the green switch. Uh, 
Looks. Don't pick him. Eyewalker. Looks Eyewalker. Okay, yeah. Please don't pick on me. Ah, ah, oh god, ah, ah, ah. Uh. Good to know. There we go. Hello, Toriel. I love Toriel's voice. It's just, it's kind of perfect for something that's so low res. Cinnamon pie. And then they don't interest you at all. As our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. chocolate bar in case I need to heal later because I'm bad and terrible. This is heartbreaking. I know what happens, but still, I'm going to destroy it. Puke a child and go upstairs, and you assert yourself. No. Get where you're coming from, Toriel. I understand, but I can't.
so... Um... True story. True fact. So when I when I got here on my first playthrough, which I wasn't uh, I wasn't streaming at all. I was just doing it um, on my own. I got tutorial here, and I went through the fight, and I tried really hard, and I burned a whole bunch of resources, and then eventually I decided, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna like I guess I guess I have to attack tutorial, and so I did, and I. You know, it was the first time seeing the attack thing, but it's, it's just the, it's the bar that goes back and f back and forth, and then you get it in dead center, and I got it, and it was like 130-some-odd damage tutorial, like, you just, just wiped him out. And the moment the fight ended, I remembered what that one damn frog said, uh, that sometimes, someday you will have to, uh, you will have to spare an enemy that isn't, you know, spare someone that isn't yellow. You know, you'll have to not attack, and then, and I was like, damn it, that was it, that was the hint. That was the hint. It was that I just hadn't waited long enough. And sure enough, like, once, uh, once you're down to two hit points, Toriel just stops trying to attack you entirely. You know, Toriel refuses to actually kill you. So, you just stare at Toriel down. And, you know, in, in a strange way, as, as easy... Um, wait, there... Wait, really? No, okay, actually, no, here, here's the thing, um, I didn't leave the fight, I didn't leave the fight, so I don't, uh, um, okay, okay, alright, you're getting, so we'll, we'll talk about that in a second, because I, I'm, I, I think I missed something, but so, one of the things that, that is fascinating about this, encounter um, from a puzzle standpoint is that even though because Toriel stops trying to actually hurt you even though it is technically really really easy um, from an execution standpoint the solution is still quite tricky because it rely like it, it's endurance you need to have faith that your uh, d that your approach to the problem you need to have faith that your chosen solution will eventually pay off. And so it's still a puzzle, uh, and it's still a challenge, but it's a completely different kind of challenge than what we normally think of as video game challenges. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? I cannot save even a single child. I'll, I'll tell you in a sec, so if, if Flowey says something different than what I remember, then I must have just been not paying enough attention, um, 
but yeah, there it it might have. Yeah, no, Flowey's saying the same thing that he said last time. So, um, so yeah, I must I, I must have bailed before it updated the updated the flag. Uh, because yeah, it didn't. I didn't even leave the the combat thing. It was like doing sort of the death animation, and I was just like, nope, bail, bail. So. Yeah, this so th that was the moment I had already realized is okay. I see what the hype was, but then that moment right there, I was like, I, I a lot of times um, I have trouble playing. Uh, I, I have trouble. I have trouble playing certain types of games or watching certain types of things like certain certain web shows or certain TV shows or uh, I have trouble engaging with certain types of media that are doing the things that I would like to do or that that I yeah the, I mean the, that I would like to do that are the kinds of media that I would like to create because I often succumb to a sort of creative envy where I'll be looking at them and I'll feel so much just like, it's like oh this 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 is everything that I want to make, or this is so close to what I want to make that it just, it makes me feel bad about my own work, and that's not just, like, they do such a good job that it just feels like, what what could I bring to this conversation? What could I bring to this? And it's like, I I will never, I will never be this good. I will never be able to do so. So, um, I definitely feel some of that when I'm, when I'm playing Undertale, a lot of that sort of creative envy. joke now the thing now I guess there's the thing so if topping Undertale like that's definitely a challenge and that's definitely a thing that, that Toby needs to then deal with in his future but at the same time if you make something like Undertale you've made something like Undertale like you can always kind of fall back on uh, fall back on that So to, to tell you uh, where I got to is Papyrus captured me, and and that's where uh, that's where I got to. So I don't think that's actually terribly far into the game. Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. 
<laughs> it's so it is great as me, you have to do so much just to get some recognition. <laughs> Ten <to> my... <laughs> Straight to skeleton. Yeah, you have this big heavy moment, but the the lead up to it, like the so you get the moment, you get the it gives you the titles, you get out, and then it's it's long enough the walk to the gate, like the the walk to the the <laughs> papyrus's <laughs> bars um, is is long enough that when it does change tone, you've had. You've had enough time, like just kind of just enough time to come back down. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and terrible monsters. And then he repeats. of that lamp fills you with determination. Oh, this fishing rod. Yes. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. Oh, right. You gotta send the line back out. I don't want to be a... don't want to be a cock locker. Shall not pass. Wait, so. Oh, try to steal snow caps. Uh... Hello, Snow Drake. As I discovered last time, uh, you actually need to wait for him to tell a joke. <laughs> Death was wrong! Because if he hasn't told a joke yet, then you laugh and it's too soon. And Star Trek's like, what are you doing? You're just pandering to me. Game of the year. What? I've been pet. Let's just keep petting Doggo.
I don't know why I find that so funny. I just find that to be the funniest thing ever. Somebody's been smoking dog treats. Snowman, I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you'd be so kind, traveler, please take a mace of me and bring it very far away. Yes? I don't know where I need to bring it to or how far I need to take it, but but I will bring I will bring it with me, snowman. I love that reaction. Isn't my brother cool? Get some nice cream. I'll get some nice cream. Because I will probably need it. This, was, this is just the clue for, that's the clue for fighting those, uh, those two dogs in the puzzle uh, that I was talking about earlier, the one that I loved so much. Baby bones. Unbelievable. Humans solve this dispute. Crossword. Crossword's harder. You two are weird. Crosswords are easy.
what should I do? Should I... Pet? Lesser John. <laughs> Oh, I got hit by Lesser Dog. Under. I need to go under Lesser Dog. Oh, there we go. Wait, no, no, no. I didn't, I, uh, I didn't go this far last time. I, uh... Um... <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> okay. I, uh, I, I spared Lesser Dog a while ago last time. Um, so, <laughs> I... What happens when when Lesser Dog gets gets back down here? It's possible that you may have a problem. <laughs> Does it end? Or does it just keep going? Like, I, I feel like now that it's just repeating, you may have a problem. That it's basically done. And that it's just gonna keep going. Uh, infinitely. Someone sa save me from myself, dude. It does end, okay. All right, I will stay the course. Incredible, but it appreciates the attack.
gonna keep going. There we go. Hello there. Hello, lesser dog. Perhaps mankind was not meant to pet this much. Yeah, it's not looping back, so... That is lewd. I love these two. Identify your smell. Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up for us. Oh, that's so good. Thanks, weird puppy. And, you know what? The, they do a really good job. He did a really good job of uh, introducing mechanics, you know. I tell him about his spaghetti that I ate it or that I left it. Oh right, right, yes. He convinces himself that it's 
you did it to share with him. What would he do without such a cool guy taking care of... taking care of him? You know, it's... Um... I, I love how the game manages to be... Uh... You know, threatening, like, so, so Flowey manages to have an element of the sinister, but the game itself is otherwise so kind, you know, that, that, uh, Sans has this great chance to just take a dig at his brother, to just be, it's like, oh man, he's, he made that armor and he's been wearing it, isn't my brother cool? Now this one took me a couple tries, I'm trying to... Um... It's... That's last. Oh, right, 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 yeah. Yeah, now I remember. Definitely has a little bit. Uh, Redim is Bane. I don't know. I think I would. Uh, I would agree with the Skeletor. Excitable, but not shrill. Yeah. Yeah. This gag. This gag is great. The setup is so long. Yes, I don't say. Yeah, that's a great. That's a great way of putting it. That you've got the sinister, and you do have the difficulty of the uh, the bullet hell stuff, and so the rest of it being like the, the those elements, which would normally be. Uh, you would would probably normally be discordant in this case are actually quite complementary that they uh, they play well off each other. Oh my god. <sighs> That's that is that is wonderful. That is fantastic. They all they all got too big and they broke. That's is is there a perfect is there a perfect is there a perfect snow dog? How do you get the where do you get where do you get the perfect snow dog? Okay, okay, so alright, alright, spoilers. Uh, I'm assuming that most people most people in chat we're still really early in the game and this is such a minor thing. Um, uh, and, and a lot of people in chat probably already know about this. But so when I first came through here I spared the lesser dog more or less right away. 
and there's an artist dog sitting right here looking at a small pillar of snow and he's just kind of staring at it and if you try to talk to him he's like, like he's trying to he's trying to create art it's basically he it's, it's a blank page moment he's trying to create art but he just stares at it and he's not not sure what to make and you talk with uh you talk with the cow lady and she says like oh he's not quite sure what to do and then we pet the ever lovely crap out of the lesser dog and now instead of it just being the small pillar it's all of these snow dogs with yeah So, the more you pet lesser dog, the more snow dogs there are. Okay, so it, it just ends up like that rather than there being... Is there is there a perfect amount of, of petting? Can you have a perfect snow dog? other direction. And now this is slightly different. Uh, last time when... Oh, there we go. The little bird. The snowbird. Alright, so it looks like it's just, uh, just random. Yeah, it's just random. Okay, so if if y'all could help me here, either by telling me whether this is something. So I got to this puzzle, and we've got these mushrooms, and we've got uh, so these make the f the little sparkles make noises if you catch them. And there's the higher pitch one and the lower pitch one, and then we've got the four mushrooms. And, but nothing seems to change when you interact with these things. So, is this just a thing for later, or do I just not understand? Okay. Really hard at the very end of the game. So this is, this is a dead end for later. <laughs> All right. Well, I will I will just let that be then for now. What a tiny dog house. Woof. A snow puff. However, is a snow puff. It is a snow puff. Snow puff. That is not a snow puff. Woof. Hello, fluffy dog. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah! I wasn't expecting that. Let's pat, uh... Oh, also, when, uh, I should have pointed this out while I was in the, the battle, you could see, like, it's sort of, the design of, of Greater Dog is such that it's, uh, uh, there's dog faces all over its armor. Like, it's, it's gauntlets look like dog faces. Violently up and down, only the tiniest choice of victory. A no mercy one when we're done with true pacifist? Um, uh, probably. Or I might. I I've heard that there's a slight uh, variant, like that you do you do a pacifist run, and then that gets you the neutral end. Like that your first ending is basically neutral regardless. Um, and so then you've got to quickly do kind of a reload. Uh, in order to get the pacifism ending. And then after that, yeah, I'll probably just go total... Uh, yeah. are fair and my traps are expertly cooked. It is too direct to no class at all. Away it goes! <laughs> That's okay, and this is a great bluff. The blue attacks. This is blue attacks. Frick. Take a nap at the inn. Sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do the thing. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. Cover your health above your maximum at HP. Mm. 
DDG is too rich for my blood. Bun, 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 bun. Bun, 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 bun. I love this little bit. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns, so we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Six. does things like spoil it, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Fart jokes. Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Now, I figured that that room is basically just a bunch of small gags. And... Yeah. Oh, these rocks. Let's play Monsters and Humans. Number song, the wrong number song. Um, Undertale seems like a work that is about as incomprehensible as Homestuck, but with more brevity. Um, I would, I would say that Undertale has a similar sensibility as Homestuck, but. Uh, I, I would agree with Kitsulain that it's pretty comprehensible, in, in no small part because it's a self-contained package. Uh, it relies on a lot of the same... Yeah, it's got, it's got the same sensibility, and I don't think you're wrong by any means by seeing the similarities between the two, but uh, if, if anything, I would say that Undertale takes that kind of formula and tone and works it into a single cohesive package, whereas uh, uh, Homestuck very much shows the, the seams of being a thing that was stitched together uh, and made up on the fly for years rather than being, you know, charted out.
humans have proven that their souls don't need love, hope, and compassion in order to survive. Our king is really not good at uh, names. The crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. If a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill, uh, let's end there. Humans are mostly made of water. They'll never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet-shaped, uh, bullet pattern, uh, birthday card. Turn into dust. We take that dust and spread it on the person's favorite thing, and their essence will live on in that thing. So I've, I have caught up to myself, more or less. More or less. So here we go. We're making, uh, we're doing, we're doing well. Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Come on, Papyrus. Come on. Come on. skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. You're meeting all my standards! Let's stay later, after I capture you. And then this, okay, this was brilliant. So, mechanically we've already been introduced to a blue attack. We've been introduced to the light blue attack. It hasn't been, however, it hasn't been distinguished as the light blue attack, aside from if you're like really paying attention to the colors when you're talking with Sans, but the problem there is that Sans is constantly changing the color of things that he's referring to. So he'll say blue attack, but it will be colored red on screen. So it's like, we've already been exposed to a blue attack, and then we get this, which is the blue attack that we're used to. Until... Doom! You're blue now, and like that, it introduces a new mechanic that... Oh, it's... Ah! Oh, I'm blue now.
now. Now here's the thing that I don't know if I'm doing right. Uh... If I just need to be really, really good at this. Don't eat the spider donut? Oh, okay, okay. I will... Yeah, you need to redo it. I figured I figured that out last time. I did the fight like six or seven times. Um, six out of twenty. His his hits do two damage each. I want to say. I even on the bad ones. I usually so I can take two hits. Um, before I need to heal. So unless I do just really bad. Uh, Oh, crap. Oh, they do four. Okay. Um, so don't eat the... I can eat the nice cream, though. There we go. Uh, Now I'm seeing repeats. Ah, oh, damn it. Um. Oh, right. 
I I should have gone by bought bicycles. Do I just need to hold out forever? Special attack. So, all right, all right, let's... Oh, that's horrible. Okay. All right, good to know. All right. Um I've actually got a lot of gold. Oh, because you get like 80 gold from uh, taking Lesser Dog all the way to to space, whereas if you previously, I only got like, I don't know, five or six from that, so that's a ton of gold by uh, doing that with Lesser Dog. So, so, okay, yeah, yeah, I know it holds items, but I guess I wasn't really saving anything, so... Spider Donut... Snowman piece? I've got I've got two bicycles. That should That's four heels. That should get me three heels. Yeah, because he goes right into uh right into this and you go right into blue. Hits 
on the easy stuff. But yeah, I had like 30 hit points, so... Taking dumb. I'm just gonna end up having to. Yeah, the blue heart's really rough. Like, this is... <laughs> this is tough, and... Now I've got enough health because I just took that bicycle that I can just, I can pretty much just coast through the last three rounds. And it's 
long too. What the hell? What the hell? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. What the? F Wait. What? 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 My friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends! We haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. <laughs> Awful puzzles and then fight them! You taught me a lot, human! And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then its monsters can return to the surface. I almost forgot to tell you, to reach the exit, you'll have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? Okay, so what happened with the uh, with the controller is I couldn't get it. Um, actually, I did get it working on my Mac partition, on my OS X partition. I did get the controller working, but it wasn't working super great. Like it was really touchy and finicky. So I just kind of uh, put it aside. And then when I booted up Windows, it turns out that ages ago when I'd done a reinstall, I didn't reinstall the um, PS3 remapper. So Undertale recognizes that I have a joystick uh, plugged in like it recognizes that I've got a controller but it doesn't do anything like it doesn't actually recognize the the button pushes so yeah and go back to his house immediately for the date I figured sock. Okay, don't put it back there.
my food museum. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all the attacks I used on you. <laughs> Quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. Fame has a steep price. A jealous troll is besieged by all my persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny, the ending on. But I'm Santa. on your keyboard for the dating HUD. All right. Oh God.
<laughs> but who doesn't? All clothing articles can be approved this way. Okay, there's no secret weapons. Perseverance. No secret weapons. Uh, the saws. No, that's just legs. Okay. He has a presence inside his skull. It is oh open it. Finally aged in an oaken cast. Tried that I was supposed to go on it. Papyrus' phone number, platonically. That was... that was amazing. Oh, that was fantastic. Papyrus has a quote for every room in the game. do it uh, just because I, I bet you can get really bogged down I'm sure there's a ton of great things by listening to okay well let's this is where I tried to capture you what a terrible memory uh... all right Still won't call me. Still won't answer the phone. Ooh. She's the cool. 
clueless. I want to be. Echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Neat, huh? Yeah. Neat, huh? Oh, Tarantino. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. Absolutely had to. I love it. It's starting to hurt my ears. Bon appetit. So I'm gonna. Alright, doggo. He likes to appear without moving. Turn sand. He says, "War for me." I just drink. Oh, we we will probably get. Uh, we will probably definitely get a mini sode about at least a mini sode about this uh, about Undertale. Um, I'm not entire. I'm not. I haven't settled on exactly what yet by any means, but we're definitely gonna definitely gonna talk about it. 
um, oh, there was something, oh, right, there was, there was a thing that I needed to do real quick, which was respond to a text that I got, so I'm gonna handle that super, super quickly, and I'm gonna send an update tweet about the, uh, just about what we're doing here, and just, just saying, like, hey, keep on... Still going. We're still going. Still going for at least another hour. Hour. Come be friends with dog with monsters. Come be a friend to dogs and monsters. Monsters and dogs. Monsters and dogs. Data skeleton. Cool video on YouTube that compared to contrast Undertale Space Funeral off and least under the uh, broad subgenre of Earthbound likes. Yeah, I don't uh, that like. I'm sure it's fascinating, and I would totally like to uh, uh, like to watch that. But I don't think I know enough about Earthbound and Earthbound derivatives to really uh, really go into that myself. Let's hang out again sometime. Totally. Mushrooms. I am suspicious of these mushrooms. Uh, but I will ignore it for now. And that looks amazing. Uh, armor, manly bandana. Item. like it hurt a lot. Yeah, a feeling of dread hangs over me, but I do remain determined. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Okay.
my heart. Why, hello there, Aaron. Rice is hard. Ah. All right. Ah. Oh, goodbye, Aaron. If you make a bridge on the right at the bottom of the room. I'm actually... <laughs> if I make it like right down here. They're stopping there. Okay, I see if, uh, okay, so if there's a secret then, and it's just around the corner, then I've got to throw them from the top row. Oh, 
that's... wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. This music is so good. The wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Come on, sis. Make a wish. Washua shuffles up. Okay, Washua is a rubber duck in right. this humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the, world, the whole world. Wash your soul. Oh, oh, crud. Uh, I was. Green means clean. Okay. Okay. No. Crap. Crap. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bail out of that one. I don't know if that's gonna keep going. as difficult as I thought. Well, that depends. So, I'm gonna play until at least midnight, so at least another hour, um, and then we'll see where we are, see how we're feeling, because I do have, you know, I got something to be, we'll see, we'll see how people are, uh, doing with the night, and I might go to one, uh, so I might do another two hours, but at, at least another hour. All right, and I forgot what this said. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words, the war of humans and monsters, and there's stairs here. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing.
Is it? Don't ever do that again. You scared me. creature. Am I a star? Am I a star? Am I? Am I a star? Ah, option paralysis. I've got like 90%, 90% of the things in this game have no defined gender. Like, this really has taken the sort of idea of, um, of that if if something isn't necessary like that if if a definition is not is not valuable then just don't create it like toriel uh heck even uh uh papyrus well i guess no 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 papyrus is they refer to each other as he cuz it's like my brothers um but yeah like the vast majority of the the side characters are you know, when the enemies and the monsters and whatnot are just there. I relocated my store, there's still no customers. Punch cards. Every time you buy a nice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a neat free nice cream. Oh, there we go. get two nice creams and my cards in the box two cards <laughs> actually I guess I might as well or wait no no, no I have no space okay because those punch cards took up space each didn't they but there's my other box isn't isn't my other box my um stash stash box yeah it's right here so i can yes deposit punch cards and 
the manly bandana. Okay, I'll go stash the quiche as well then. Tend on attacking, but now I have a full outfit. I have my tutu and my ballet shoes. Oh, there it is. Hello, duck. Hello, duck. Yeah, I think uh, full heels for me are mostly making up for being bad at dodging things. Murdery, but I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. <laughs> a dusty tutu, because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. <laughs> oh, poor Papyrus. The holy is digging himself. Mmm, a Washua and an Aaron at the same time. This feels troublesome, but Washua... There we go. And that should... See those those ones like those get surprisingly challenging. This reminds me of a track in Final Fantasy XII, and I'm trying to remember what part. The power to take their souls. This is a power that humans feared. Uh, 
Are you a frentical or are you... Should I be wary of you? Ah, oh, that's a frentical. Hi there, I noticed you were here. I am Onino San. Onino San, you here? Um. The aquarium is full uh, anyway, so even if I wanted to, I, that's okay, you hear. Undine's gonna fix everything, you hear. Un Undine's. Yeah. I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear. Hey there. That's the end of the room. See you around. Have a good time. In waterfall. Bye, Onino san. Goodbye. Oh, can I call? Will Onino san come back? Oh, there we go. Hello, Onino san. That's it. <laughs> uh, Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Okay, alright. Shiren. Um. I have a smile. Shiren gets quieter in the corner. Aaron nods his head approvingly. Wait, Aaron. Keep humming, keep humming with her. Oh, I saw that just a little too late. I assume I can maybe encounter her again? What's with this discard square? It is out of the ordinary. That means it's significant. Uh, the northern room hides a great treasure. Alright. First eight are fine. Only the first eight are fine. Okay. Monster soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments, a human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will.
Please take one. You're not helping, kid. One time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. Ended up coming to school and teaching all the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Uh, you're not helping, kid. Maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt and miss a person. I hope so. Well, now I feel... I feel like I need to back up. Because I can get it later. Okay. All right. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. The sound of muffled rain on the cave top, it fills you with determination. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. Is it now? Ah. Ah.
sounds like it came from over here. You've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. It is a nice name. My name is... A beat up desktop computer, the inside is empty. It's a cooler, it has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple freeze dried space food bars. Take one? Sure. Got the astronaut food. DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Oh, hey there. Seems like a regular training dummy. You feel bad. No, I'm sorry. with this. Ah, your attack pattern is wacky. Watch.
Relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical words fill the room. Uh, tell me about some magic missile. Alright. I've got knives. <laughs> I'm out of knives, but it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me forever. 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 Ah. Rain, dodge rain, dodge rain or tears. Acid rain? Hey! Oh no. Head home now. Feel free to come with, but no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. My house is up here, in case you want to see. Or in case you don't. Alright.
I get you, Napstabluk. I get you. So now, if if I wait with Napstabluk here any longer, or is this kind of it? <laughs> yeah, that was worth. Hello, duck. Um. I think I need to go across right now. Hmm. Luke Acres, East Hotland. Question, 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 Timmy Village. Oh, there was the other, there was Bluke's neighbor. It's locked. Okay. Hello, snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Snail, snail. So snaileth Sam by Oh, hello, Bloop. Hello, Bloop. Welcome to Bloop Family Snail Farm. I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Sorry, sorry, snail. I gave it a panic attack. I... Really got to her. Oh. 
trying to remember for all of us what was it called there's there's a thing I'm trying to remember the name of but now I suddenly I suddenly can't um oh, let me let me just look something up real quick and see if I can uh, see if I can remember it Was it the so Napsta Bluke? I am almost certain is intended as a reference to uh, uh, pictures for sad children. Oh, there it heals 18 hit points. I've only got 20. Heals 10 HP speed up in battle. Uh, armor. Invincible longer. That actually. Uh, 30, 50, 60, 70, 80 for them for combined? And that would. Let's go with those. Uh, studying history. So, sorry, I, I got my things, my attention split. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. <laughs> That, uh, eh? You don't know what that is? What do they teach you kids in schools nowadays? That's the Delta Rune. Oh, that there. Uh, the emblem of our kingdom, the kingdom of monsters. Great name. So I say, Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Emblems meaning. Uh, all we know is that the triangle symbolizes monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Uh, the prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately the people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling the wing mm, to free us from this mortal realm. Mm, when I see it. Is that the answer to the, uh... Is that related to the, the... Piano? Is this the piano? King Fluff. I don't remember it. Royal Gar... So she's like... Yes, I grabbed the torn notebook. No, it, okay. Watch your bag, buy you some items, I just save your hide. Uh, all right. Item, cloudy 
glasses. Yes. Item and toy notebook. So the torn notebook and the glasses are uh, companion items that when when you hit something during the bullet time, your uh, invincibility frames last longer. You hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. But this cursed place has no entrance or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. It's not a Final Fantasy 12 track, it's a Final Fantasy 7 track. Um, the special enemy, Temi, uh, when, you when you return to Nibelheim, uh, after Nibelheim going through the, the reactor, that's the, that's the track that it reminds me of. Alright, Temi, uh, what does Temi want? Feed Temi Flakes? Loves to pet cute humans, but you're allergic. What? Uh, I'm allergic. Ah, ah. It vibrates intensely. The Timmy flakes. So. Ah, Timmy. I see that. Uh, secret in this room. Near the bottom right corner of the room, there's a secret passage leading down. Thank you.
Why did I just I just took a guess that like of all of the uh so I, I realized uh, at my first playthrough that most of the shops won't actually buy stuff from you because it doesn't make sense. I'm like, something about this temp village. I bet you Temmy will buy my junk. Hi, I'm Temmy. <laughs> Us Temps have a deep history. Yeah, 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 go to Temp Shop. Alright. Alright, what can you buy from Temp Shop? Temp Flake? Temp Flake? Uh... Temp Pay for College. You know what? I wish I had enough to send you to college, but I don't, so I'm going to buy the... <laughs> the on sale Temp Flake. So, you can buy a Tem Flake for one, and then sell it for two, so... <laughs> and then the price goes up to three. Okay, okay, so... So easy, so buy cloudy glasses from the other shop. 20, uh. Now, how will money ever like become an actual limitation? Like, is it worth, is it actually worthwhile to do that? Or is that just, you know, a thing that you can do? Cause already money's not exactly like a limiting thing. Uh, too much. Like, I haven't really run into anything where it's like, ah, oh, I can't, I want to buy this, but I don't want to buy that, but I can't buy them both. So. Okay, the college thing is so goddamn worth it, even without access to the great armor. Uh, it's super OP and the price of the armor goes... Wait. So sending her to college is worth it. Okay. Um... You need 9k. Okay, so you've got to... Uh... So you got to keep doing it. So it is like 1,000 to send her... Uh, wait, is it nine? Is it's nine thousand to like nine thousand total? Like you gotta keep giving her a thousand, uh, and then she goes to college. Is that is that what you're saying?
That moment of horror brought to you by Temtown. Okay, one okay, one K to go to college, eight K for armor. Going to college gives her knowledge on how to get the armor. Okay, so so that's gonna be a thing that I should worry about, like, not right now. Uh... Uh... Oh! One size greater. Chased Wiggle. Got it. All right, now. I'm moving too fast. Oh, jeez. I'm at, like, two hit points. Uh... Candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate.
gonna be easier to unhug. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? Alright. I think that's only gonna send me back to. That's only gonna send me back to Temp Village. on my way out, I talked to everybody, got all my stuff, armor just got cheaper, that was, is that, that's my first, uh, death, I think, like, actual, for this, uh, for this run. I was doing okay. Okay, uh, I'll try to remember that voice in the game over. It's... Terrible. Uh, yeah, let's eat an ice cream. Why am I suddenly having so much trouble with these two? I can have flex Aaron. Yeah. Wait, no, he's sweating more. Ah, gross.
Ah, crap. Dang it. I got a green. Wait, I can just shoe Aaron? Oh, okay. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul or I'll tear it from your body.
like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return and the underground will go empty. Yo. Hmm. I want to ask you something. I've never had to ask anyone this before. You're human, right? Ha <laughs> ha. Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undying told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um... I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. Haha. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? No. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. We'll just have to be friends instead. I should really go home. I bet my parents would... Yeah, probably, man. Go home. Go back to Snowtown. Snowden Town. Edward Snowden. We haven't called Papyrus recently. What? 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 That's... That's... I do not approve. Moms are sweating. Like I'm. Oh. Um. Can I back off and go buy healing items? Oh, jeez. What have I got? I have an ice cream and an astronaut food. All right, I guess. Here we go.
Wait. Green. Green.
the cup evaporated too. Oh my. Wow. That takes us to 12.30. Um, jeez. I mean, that's a good place to kind of... That's a good place to, to call it for the night, but at the same time, I don't know. Do, do I want to just... I don't know if I want to stop. How... Yeah, yeah, that's... Oh my. Oh my. That's a good place to stop. That's a good place to stop. So we're gonna... We're gonna call it there. We're gonna say... We're gonna say goodnight on that, uh, on that one. That was... F fantastic. That was that that was excellent. That was sorry if I wasn't talking a whole lot towards the end there. I was just I I had to focus. It was it, you know it it had me in its in its grip. Um, that it's the thing the thing that is blowing me away about it. Um, and no no wonder that this has been on uh, on so many. Um, game of the year list is it's it's not just endearing it's not just fun it's not just challenging it's not just enthralling it's all of them uh you know it it manages to balance so nicely between uh uh between like legitimate tension like just straight up tension you know our like chair gripping edge of your seat kind of uh kind of razor focus and then flip into just comedy uh and it's doing it's it's doing just great um you know really really super uh super enjoying it so far and i totally see like you know the hype is real uh is i guess what i'm saying so yeah, I kind of wish that I had gotten into it earlier. I kind of wish that I had uh, actually picked it up earlier in the year when everyone was first building hype, but I have uh, no no qualms, no complaints about about getting it now and getting it late and and kind of, you know, part of part of what I'm really enjoying is that that a lot of other people like you know are coming and it's like oh you're starting undertale and they're really excited to to sort of see my reaction and and that's fun that's i i'm enjoying that i'm enjoying people being engaged in that way and i you know it 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 pumps me up too so uh so yeah well and sort of the surprising thing is how little of it apparently has uh, has been spoiled, spoiled for me i mean i guess there's there's certainly my assumptions like just my guesses about where it's going to uh where it's going to go just based off of uh uh general sort of story knowledge experience but um yeah so that that's I really like it. I really, really like it. This this year, 2015, I mean, there's been some really, really garbage stuff going on in the world in 2015, and it's been a, it's been a rough year in a lot of different ways, but uh, media-wise, it has been just fabulous. We have gotten some great movies. We've gotten some just amazing games, and so... Yeah, it's uh, it's wonderful. It's great. Thank you so much for sharing this this uh, uh, Christmas Eve Undertale night with me. Thank you for uh, thank you for sharing that experience. Thank you for cheering along and uh, and watching them. I'm, I know my my assumptions are just. We'll I'll I'll maybe talk about them at some uh, some other time. I'm just guessing that there's going to be a 
uh, I'm, I'm assuming some sort of sort of big Mass Effect esque uh, ending. Though at the same time, I mean, it uh, it definitely I'm I'm very open to it surprising me, and I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it did surprise me uh, because of how it has managed to sort of dodge predictable expectations uh, so far. I've got a couple different vague. Um, I don't know, just intuition. I would need to, I would need to sit and think about them and and guess. And you know what? That actually might be fun. Is if I actually wrote them down and been like, "Hey, here's sort of where I think this is going. Let's find out how wrong I am." That actually sounds like it might be some fun. So I might do that. Um, but thank you for sharing this Christmas Eve. I hope that it was a good time for you. Uh, I hope that you have a wonderful holiday season and you know stay stay friendly stay stay happy be a friend be a friend to monsters and dogs um if if you're having a lonely time uh reach out talk to someone there's there's always you know there's always someone out there um and and yeah i just i wish you all all the best i may do i I will probably. I'm taking a, a little bit of time off from contract uh, contract stuff, though. I do have uh, a red pill. You know, we've got a bunch of stuff going on with that that I need to take care of. But uh, I'm not tray busy, so I might pick. A, I might come back again in a couple uh, in a couple evenings and keep going with this because this I'm really enjoying this. So thank you. Take care. Good night. Peace on earth. Take care.